This is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Hi everyone. So today I have my beautiful Maggie Mae with me, and we are doing theme Thursday, which is white, and the alternate theme is unicorns. And I wanted to bring her on um, just for the introduction, because I uh, just couldn't resist um, showing off her gorgeous outfit that her auntie ruth made for her and she fits right in a, into the theme because she is wearing a beautiful white bolero jacket a little shrug and she has her favorite toy with her which is this little unicorn and so i wanted to bring her on first um, before i get uh, prince henry changed up into his um, cute little theme Thursday outfit. So there's Maggie Mae again, and I will see you all up at the changing table. So today I have Prince Henry with me, and Prince Henry is the Prince Henry sculpt by Andrea Arcello, and he was reborn by Emma Bennett. And he's, um, he's participating in theme Thursday today, um, he's sitting on a white blanket, and he's got a, um, a white pillow, and then he's going to be wearing um, an outfit that, is, um, that has a lot of white in it, too. So he, and he does have his pony with him, and his pony also has some white. He's going to match up to his pony really well today. <laughs> um, you'll see in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and put Prince Henry here and I'll show you the outfit that he's going to be wearing. And this is the outfit. And um, it's, it's made out of a plush fabric, a white plush fabric. And it's got a little bear face on the front, um, a, a light brown or light tan um, stripe. And the little bear has 3D ears. And then um, the little pants that comes with it are also plush, really super soft fabric, and they're also striped. And it has um, three snaps in the, in the back. So he's going to be wearing that. And then underneath that, I'm going to change him, him into this uh, white onesie. And then his shoes are going to be these um, real light, like an off-white um, uh, main part of his shoe, and then the tips of his shoes are white as well. And then the bottoms of his shoes are the same color of the off-white. And then he's got um, the brown stripe as part of the, um, the decoration on the shoes. And so um, he's, he's got an outfit that happens to match perfectly today. And I'm going to keep his socks on because his socks are a light brown, which go really well with the entire outfit. So anyway, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to put his little pony down here. And um, he is wearing his guardsman outfit that his, uh, his Auntie Edith had, had sent. And um, it's an adorable knitted outfit. I'm going to go ahead and lay him down right here. Well, let me take his crown off first. His, he wears his crown um, with every outfit. And so because he's the prince, you know, a prince should always wear their crown, right? Except for, except for when they're getting dressed. Um, he's got the most prettiest, waviest, curliest hair. Um, I just love the color of it. It's kind of like a... I don't know, sort of a honey blonde with a little bit of um, ginger in it. So, and he's got beautiful brown eyes too. So let's go ahead and lay him down here and get him changed for theme Thursday. Oh, I need to adjust the camera. There we go. So anyway, everyone, um, I wanted to talk about a very um, interesting 
comment that I got on the um, on the video that I did when I received um, Auntie Ruth's uh, gorgeous outfit for Maggie Mae. And it was written by a young man that um, that he he said that he got to to that uh, particular um, to my particular video by accident, and um, he didn't understand what was going on. He saw Maggie May, and he, and he and he thought that he, you know Maggie May looked real. And I think that he was kind of uh, stunned by everything. But I wanted to read you the note that he sent. Um, there were some um, not so good words in it, so I'll, I won't say those words. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk about that today with you. Um, so anyway, here I, I wrote, wrote it down. It said, um, well, what he says is, he says, he starts out, uh, I don't even know how I ended up here. I was searching for something else and accidentally clicked on this LOL. But, and then there's a, some swear words, is this, uh, oh, he says, uh, or I'll just say, what the heck is this? I have so many questions. Why is the doll so real looking? It's creepy as blank. And why is this a 30 minute video about dressing up a doll? And this is the whole channel? And and the comments have got to be bots or something. There ain't no way there's this many people thinking this isn't creepy. Why are you all talking like the, this doll is real? Please, this is so weird. <laughs> so, anyway, um... <clears throat> That's the first time that I've gotten a comment like that, uh, but I'll tell you what, um, it, it didn't upset me one bit because I totally understand that there are so many people that are not in this hobby that think the same way. I mean, they honestly do. They think, you know, like we're, like the ones that, uh, us that are in the hobby are just, um, you know, a bunch of crazies. And so I, I didn't answer him um, So because I've been thinking about what I want to say to him. Now, he might just be a guy that is, you know, kind of found my channel accidentally, made his comment and is on his way, and he won't ever come back and, and look at my response. He's probably not even, you know, expecting a response. But uh, I wanted to give him a response because um, I, you know, there are so many people that, that really do think a lot like this person. Now, this person, um, he, he looked to be probably, um, in, uh, like to me, he looked like he was maybe uh, 16, maybe that, that type of age, you know, because he seemed to feel uh, pretty free about you know, leaving a comment like that and using um, phrases that are, you know, not very nice and that type of thing. And so he must have been in his um, his early teens. But, um, but anyway, yeah, I've been thinking about what I want to say. And um, the reason that I wanted to bring it up today is because one of the stigmas that we have as... Um, as collectors and as uh, you know, hobbyists that like to change our dolls into, you know, super cute outfits, we have this stigma of being absolutely nutcases uh, to those that don't understand us. And you know, actually, that's okay with me um, because there are a lot of um, there are there are a lot of people um, that have hobbies that I don't understand, um, you know, you name it, all of us aren't, aren't all the same. We're not all the same. And so, of course, one person is going to look at our hobby and think that we're, you know, there's something wrong with us. And then a person that understands our hobby and that is, you know, part of our, part of our hobby, they, they totally get it, you know? So, um, <clears throat> anyway, it's a very, very 
uh, it's one of those misunderstood hobbies um, that you know you hear a lot of uh, negative comments about and um, I don't know if you have been to Mia's uh, channel and I'll put a link to her channel um, in my description but anyway um, a while back she had asked um, you know on her channel she had asked anyone that wanted to participate in um, writing a oh it's sort of like an essay about our hobby and how we got into our hobby because she wanted to um, she wanted to write a book and uh, an electronic book and an ebook and put it on Amazon so that um, people like this person that wrote on my channel would um, you know maybe they would read the book and and understand our hobby more and so there was a bunch of us ladies that did it um, I was one um, Suzanne was one Holly Church was one um, there's a bunch of um, people that did and like I said I'll uh, Mia had um, she had given a list or said a list of everybody that was um, that's in the book and it's published right now and our purpose is not um, you know is not to make any money at all on this book um, there was about a week of um, where it was free and now it's 99 cents um, for each each time you download it and it's a um, oh it's a uh, Kindle uh, it's you know you need to have the Kindle app which you can download the Kindle app for free um, but anyway you know in order to read the book but anyway the whole idea was to get the message out there um, uh, that you know this is why we collect reborns this is why we're in the hobby this you know and all of us had uh, a different reason why and so it's really an interesting read and um, Anyway, um, like like Mia said, any money that's collected, we are uh, we're planning on giving it to charity. So it's not a money making thing at all. We're just trying to get the word out there because of you know, I mean, people like this person, uh, you know, complete. I completely get it. They don't get it, um, you know, and um, maybe the word will get get out there with um, with this book. I I don't know. So, um, but anyway, I just thought that was rather interesting, not long after the book was published, that I get a comment like this because um, it's the first time, like I said, it's the first time I've ever gotten that kind of a comment. And uh, I thought it very interesting. And um, so I, you know, like I said, I've been, I've been uh, thinking about what I want to say. I, I want to stay you know positive because that's that's what I'm all about you know I'm all about trying to stay um, positive and happy and um, you know have this hobby be like my relaxation and my uh, my fun and uh, you know I get to uh, communicate with all all the people that really enjoy my hobby with me and uh, and I really really appreciate that so um, but anyway yeah, I thought I would bring that up today um, just to um, kind of give you a heads up that, uh, you know, that there are people out there that leave comments like that and um, they, you know, they don't understand us and we don't understand them, you know, it's just, uh, it's a mixed bucket like that. But, but anyway, I think Prince Henry is absolutely adorable. I'm going to go ahead and put his shoes on. I'll do it this way since I've already got him sitting up. And they just kind of slip right on. So go ahead and slip his left shoe on. There we go. Well, you couldn't have found a better uh, match with these shoes. Um, the Shoe Fairy sent these shoes. And um, she sent, oh gosh, a pair of one or two or three you know each of uh, that will match any of the outfits that the boys have and so it's been so fun all I have to do I never have to worry about whoops I never have to worry about if the boys um, or girls actually um, for that for that matter I never have to worry about if they um, are going to have matching shoes or not so 
Um, but anyways, you can see they look super, super cute on him. Okay, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing Prince Henry get all dressed up for theme Thursday. And um, anyway, thanks for um, visiting today. And uh, like I said, I'll put the information uh, that I've been talking about in my description. So have a wonderful rest of your day. And until we meet again, bye-bye.